Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here and today we're going to be voiding some warranties and we're going to crack open this Leap Motion controller to see just what makes this thing tick. So right underneath here, this rubberized strip is uh, some adhesive. Yep. And some of the screws here. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this. Alright, so now that we got the screws off, Go ahead and try to pry this sucker open. I don't recommend that you do any of this at home. This is definitely voiding the warranty. If there is one, I don't even know if there is one. Right. So there we have it. What do we have? I don't know. I guess I gotta peel away all of this stuff. I hope that wasn't any type of EMI shield. Ooh, there we go. And this is the cameras. I gotta make sure I don't touch any of that stuff. Excuse my ashy fingers here. But uh, yeah, so that's, looks like this is the data connection. And these cameras, uh, so I've heard or read, was 290 frames per second, high resolution cameras. And so those are it right there. Let's see if I can, uh, what else can I open up? Alright, so after careful prying, uh, I'm removing the glue or separating some type of adhesive. So it's pretty much kind of no turning back once you do this. Sorry, it's not easy running a camera and trying to be delicate with some sensitive electronics here. And these are the LEDs, infrared LEDs I believe. Seems to be a rubber, some rubber piece here. There is a circuit board, and they're screwed in. Touch the lens. It's not good. This goes in like so. And you should probably be very well grounded with the sensitive electronics here. something from the computer all right so I'm testing it out on the computer here and it does still in fact work and now we're gonna get real close and personal Here's one of the infrared LEDs and you can actually see it pulsating with light emitting diode. 
Alright everyone, so this is pretty much what the infrared LEDs look like. For some reason my DSLR has some type of filtering and you can't really see it, but on the camera phone here uh, you can really see it very well and it's even giving my uh, phone some weird scan lines. And so that's pretty much it there. Thanks for watching and I will catch you guys later.